Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Hello. Today's a very exciting day because we're going to be taking you guys just on a day out of us. I'm going to go to Ikea, going to do some furniture shopping because Ikea is just a whole day out. Like even if you don't buy anything from Ikea, just going to Ikea is the, it's just the most fun thing to do. <laughs> so we're going to go to Ikea, have a look what we can find. Yes. Because um, we really want to decorate our secret place. That's like our next project, isn't it? Yeah. Our son's room is pretty much done now. Um, or oh, we do need to buy a mattress for his car, but like little things, but pretty much everything is done. Um, praise the Lord. But yeah, when it comes to our secret room, like our devotional war, war room, our secret well, prayer closet, um, we really want to get that done. So like get shelves, get a nice cozy like sitting area. And yeah, so we're really excited for that. So we're going to take you guys today on this little journey and see what we can find. Woo! Let's go. Let's go. We are now in Ikea. Yes, we are. We went to AMC. Was it AMC? AMC Furniture. Furniture. Um, we did find some really nice sofas. Yes, we did. We didn't get a sofa though, or a bed. Mm. But um, Ikea actually has sofas, you know, and they're yeah, actually pretty nice. So we'll see if we can find something here. Come on, come on. When we come to Ikea, the best thing is the food. It's the meatballs. Everyone says that though, but did you even like them? Nah, I don't like them how you see. Nah. I think we just say that because everyone else says that. No, 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 no. It's not because everyone says that. It's because the real ones, um, the real ones, we know that back in, let's go back to, I'd say 2018, you used to come to Ikea and those meatballs were good. Yeah, they were. They Back in 2018, 2016, 17. But obviously things have changed. Life has changed. Nothing remains the same. Someone great once said that. So yeah, we're gonna go and have some stuff to eat. And then we're gonna do our like, supper. Just like a quick dessert drink. So my wife just wants a little dessert. Let's go and get her a little dessert. Them, guys, we got this like dame cake last time and that was nice. What? That dame cake. I like it. It's alright, it's not too bad. <laughs> See, they used to do meatballs with spaghetti back in those days. Now they do meatballs with with mash ma <laughs> and mash and peas. Like. So we just got convicted by an app that we've been using called Haven. And yeah, you know, we were just kind of consumed with we need to get a sofa, we need to get a bed, we need to get a sofa, we need to get a bed. And the reality is God has already provided us these things. We just have to seek the kingdom first and everything else shall be added. And you know, anyways, so Haven told us to go and look at Luke chapter 10, verse 38. Um, when Martha and Mary have that whole uh, that whole situation where Jesus says, "Listen, Martha, I'm not going to take away the only thing, the only thing from Mary that truly matters," and we got convicted, anyways. Then the Holy Spirit led my wife to another passage, and then another passage in the same page, and we basically realized the treasures. Uh, you know when Jesus says, "The tre where uh, where the treasures of your heart." Now, whatever you treasure, the desires of your heart will be there also. Yeah. And that's what was happening to us. Like, we, we desired a bed so much. We desired um, uh, a sofa so much that the, uh, the desires of our heart were there as well. So we started to do things today that were probably, it wasn't even God who called us or told us to do it, but our needs just moved us to do these things. And, as we're here in Ikea, we force God to come into it. and we force God to bless what we, what we desire. Yeah. So the Holy Spirit just nicely, gently, humbly convicted, uh, you know, humbled humbly us. humbled us and convicted us. So now we're just gonna look for some nice and simple things to prepare our secret place, so that we can start using our secret so, place today. So we can start from there, and everything else shall be shall added. Be added. Amen. So we just found a barbering corner. You gonna do your hair now? Come on, come on. Be nice face. Yes, yes, yes. Glory. We got a proper barbering chair as well. You know what I'm saying? One day. Yeah. I would love to build something like this. Mm. Cause obviously, doing Ricky's hair is part of my life. 
Come on. And now I've got a son on the way, so doing his hair will also be a part of my life. So I feel yeah. like investing in something like this where I can do your guys' braids, your mm. hair. Oh, I would love that. Let's go. We're going to do it. Obviously, if we, got it, if we have a girl one day, it will come in handy so I can do her hair. Yeah. I have all my tools, all my products. Come on. It will be so good. Right I've already supplied all of our needs. Amen. Hello everyone, so we have just finished Hello. in Ikea. I just woke up from a very <laughs> lovely nap in the car. Come on. And now my husband is the tired one. <laughs> yeah. He needs some rest, bless him. He's, done, he's been doing a lot of driving this past few weeks, I guess, like with a moving weeks, and yeah. a lot of, yeah, so his body's calling for some rest, but. Big and heavy stuff. Mm hmm. Bless every him. day, every week. Literally every day. Taking boxes, then taking something. care of your pregnant wife. Come on. But anyway, update: we got three items from IKEA. We've got a rug. I think I showed you guys on the checkout. But yeah, we basically got those items. Um, some picture frames for the. Um, what was I going to say? <laughs> some picture frames for the wall. Because basically, like I said today, today we're going to focus on the secret place. Just like making, just getting that ready. Because we really just want to use that. And we've been putting it off because we're like, it has to be perfect. It has to have like the right chair and the right sofa and the right <laughs> this. And it's like, like Ricky said, we got convicted by this app called Haven. But it was like, <laughs> listen, what matters is your intentionality. And what matters is the fact that you... your heart behind. Is your heart behind it. Like it could be the most simple room, but it could be the most powerful room. Because we're using it to seek God. We're using it to pray for people, to intercede. So what matters is the heart of the room, not the look of the room. I like that. So, yeah, that's basically... Right, the app can <laughs> preach. The app can preach for real. It, came, it really convicted <laughs> us. So, we actually just came to Ricky's house to pick up a um, old, like... It's, it's kind of a bookshelf, but it's also like a shoe shoe shelf. Yeah. Um, Ricky uses a shoe, shoe shelf. So, we're going to just grab that, bring it back to save. We are going to buy one today. I thought, Ricky, you've literally got one at your home, not even yeah, using true. it. So, save some money, why not? Come on. And then we're gonna get that, and then we're gonna go to B and M, my favorite shop right now. Um, one of my favorite shops. But Do I think I should have got a white shelf. White shelf would have looked better. This is in the bonds. Yeah. You know what Lois said that in Arndale they've just opened up this the biggest B and M ever. That's like two floors in B and M. So yeah, we're gonna head to B and M, buy some some nice cushions. Oh for yeah, the floor. we still need to do that. Yeah, we're, not, we're nearly done. We're nearly done. Let's go do that before we get very tired <laughs> and our bodies just give up for the day. <laughs> this is what we are getting for our secret place. Guys, so soft. And we bought like a matching um, throw as well. Yeah, come on. So it's gonna be very nice. Oh, we went past the, the, the storage thing. Oh, is it? Yes. Yeah. We'll be where the mirrors are. Mm -hmm. have, we talk, have we told them about uh, the whole conviction from Haven? Not too yeah, sure. we did. We recorded some, something in IKEA. Okay, so as you guys saw, um, in our secret place, we have this cardboard box, and mm -hmm. so we're gonna put this one so it looks nice, and we actually sit, we can, can sit, actually on, sit it. on it as well. And yeah, we're gonna put it so it looks better, it looks more presentable. That's it. So excited to do that. But there's so many options, guys. Yeah. Here, like, oh my goodness. Even this one, I love this one. I like that one as well. I know, right? Curved one. And it's cheaper. <laughs> But then I feel like that one's bigger, maybe. No, no, it's the same, same measurement. I think because it's that's rectangle, it feels like there's more space to sit. Whereas it's curved, it takes yeah, away the yeah, space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just on a hunt for a vase now. A vase. Um, a vase, a vase, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I call it a vase. Loads of mirrors, frames. Oh, we're gonna come here for our frames as well. Um. But yeah, my hands, as you guys can see, they're very occupied right now. So I'm gonna come back once we go to pay for all of these things. So we stopped over and had just just had some Mackies. We now we're to gonna have something quick, guys. So yeah, <laughs> now we're gonna get started with the secret place. Yes, I cannot as wait. As you can see, this is how it looks. Show the before, before. Show the before, before. <laughs> update on the room look at the difference you guys we have a little carpet here where we can just you know spend time in prayer in the morning together we have a little storage box our blanket in case it's cold and get nice and cozy 
Um, we did want this in white, but obviously Ricky already had it in black from his previous room, so we could, we're either going to swap it or leave it like that and just yeah, we're gonna take both that get and used the table to it. <laughs> yeah, and then obviously here we have our. Good morning, good morning. So, this is how the secret place looks. This is what the secret place looks like in the morning. Beautiful, beautiful. But yeah, we just got ready. We're gonna go to church now. Yes. Yeah, Mo? Yes, we are. We're gonna wash the dishes when we get back. Mm -hmm. But yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guys, we have this inside joke, and he'll say yeah. like I'm upstairs, <laughs> and he goes, "I'm Mo," or like he calls you by my name. I'll be like, "Yeah." yeah, yeah. <laughs> If you guys know the inside joke, yeah, it's okay. But that's just that thing, yeah. Go on. But yeah, but yeah, update, just a little update before we actually continue on this vlog journey that we've been bringing you guys yes. on. So, it's currently my bedtime and my <laughs> wife wants to work now. Listen, and I can't sleep. I'm tired. Until And I'm an early nerd. Like, I... I wake up early to get these things done. Okay, guys, comment down below what type of person you are. Are you person A? You could not sleep until your work is complete. Like, you physically, you're, you're in bed and you're just like twitching because you're like, I've not completed my to-do list. I've not done half the things I want to do. Like, I need to get my things done before I can even sleep and lay, put my foot in bed. Mm. Or are you person wait, wait. B? Wait, wait, so you do it, you go to sleep, and then you wake up late. Not necessarily, but I wake up satisfied at least because I got my stuff done and then the next day I don't have to stress that I didn't do the things I didn't do yesterday. Right. Because to is tomorrow promised? Tomorrow is a promise, totally though. God exactly. willing. That's so why I was saying if God I'm willing. still breathing right now, I'm going to take a chance. But that's why I was saying Anywho, or are you person B? I'll just do it tomorrow. <laughs> no, I'll just do it tomorrow. It's my bedtime. I've got responsibilities because I have a God that I love very much. My father, my lover, who will be waiting for me at 4 a.m. in the secret place. And I want to meet with him because my experience with him in the morning is more important than anything else in the world. Of course. Spot. Point blank. Period. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go to sleep because it's my bedtime. I'm going to wake up early, spend Random. time with Papa. And from Random. that place, well people are still sleeping I still get all the things that I was gonna get done that person A got done during the night which person would you rather be? listen God has made me me and God has made you you so you focus on you I focus on me you wanna go to bed? Baji no, but then I, like, I don't want my pregnant wife to be doing things I enjoy this there's no, nothing no. that's some it's suffering fine. No, no, it's fine it's fine I'm just saying things that are heavy. There's nothing heavy. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Things that are like, that take too much strain. 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 <laughs> Anywho, guys. Yeah, if you need to go upstairs, you can go. I'm going to do this haul. Anyways, we're going to do this haul because. Yeah. We got quite a lot of stuff. Yeah, and then I'll leave my wife to it and I'll go to bed because Amen. I do have a very important meeting tomorrow morning. Yeah. And uh, one more thing, so as you guys remember, like there was a whole mess in the living room. We got rid of yes. all those boxes. We actually found a recycling Ooh, center. We put a video we're trying here. to put videos here. Yeah. And we were able to take everything there. So just to quickly show you before we continue. Mm -hmm. um, it's still a mess right now because obviously there's boxes everywhere. But yeah, like there was a big mess there, if you guys remember. The boxes so, everywhere. All cleaned. Um, my beautiful Everything wife. is unpacked now. It is unpacked. So oh, it's, and it's nice. So chandelier. So I've put an, I've put a chandelier, like very very nice popping chandelier, right there. We bought it from the range, I think. Now, just a quick update. So our kitchen, we got this table. Sorry, we just got some salt in the middle of the table. But yeah, we got this table and chairs. Beautiful, beautiful. From just Facebook add, from Facebook Marketplace and. Yeah, the the couple they were amazing. We got our pantry, pantry. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure we've not showed that to you guys yet. So here it is. So this is what my wife will be doing today. Yeah, and what I will do before I go upstairs is wash them dishes. Wash these dishes because 
yeah we can't be having dirty dishes as we're going to sleep and upstairs there isn't much differences uh i i didn't record myself but we bought a we bought a drawer mm, to our, put our wardrobes are sorted yeah our wardrobes are sorted so that's it so yeah now we're going to show you guys all that we bought from b&m because we bought a lot of stuff we'll start with the i guess boring stuff we just bought this little boring, you know what i'm saying when I say boy, I just mean like less <laughs> extravagant. I'm like, nah, that's essential. You know what I'm we just needed to get this little thing to put like our um, soap. soap and our sponge, Fairy sponge for our sink in kitchen. the kitchen. Those are only um so we shared prices now. I'll One pound. I'll be taking that. And yeah. yeah. I can smell the scent already. Wow. That's how strong that that thing is. No, from this. Uh -huh. It smells so good. Glory. That was one pound, and then we have this little Gray bin that's gonna go in our room underneath my desk. Two pound fifty. I've been really needed bin because I've just been putting stuff on the floor for now, and I have to like pick it up and take it to the actual bin. Are you my sticker picker? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Next, let's move on to the cleaning products and the scents. So I love how he gives a discount on this. Okay. this is I was original. buzzing about that discount, you know. I'm like, yes. <laughs> I was like, come on. One thing about me, I'm the bargain queen, okay? Make it one pain. If I can if I find an item back and find the cheaper, I'm a, I'm gonna find the cheaper version. So I was looking error for my favorite scent. This is the Airwick Santorini Sunrise. Nah, mm. trust me, it's Wait. the best, the best I've smelled. This scent in my life. I can't explain it, it just smells like nah, divine. That's, that's good, that's good. Though. But it was the last one, and I'm gonna show the cup. Oh, it was literally like cracked, That's like awesome. broken. But I was like, I'm gonna take it. I don't care because this is the last one and I need this. Nice, it's good, it's good, it's good. So the guy at the table was like, listen, it's broken, so I'll give you a discount. I can, I can make it one pound for you. I was like, like yes, <laughs> please. Make it one pound. So I'm gonna smell incredible. That was, I got to, oh, it's still works. You just have to press it properly. Yeah, eesh. I don't want to break it. <laughs> Even it's more. already broken. <laughs> even more, even more. Oh, smell that. Nah, that's good. Oh, that. that's, guys, that's that scent smell. is incredible. That's a good smell, that. That's, and then. That's a good smell, that. Oh, oh. That's good, that's good, that. As you guys know, there's carpet pretty much in every single room in our house. So we've got this carpet fresh, um, quick dry and fine foam, eliminates mm -hmm. odors at the source. So just like to make your carpet smell nice. I'm not sure how much this works because there's no price, but I'm pretty sure it was like $1.99, I believe. So that's that. And then I just got these antibacterial wipes. Just like, these are just really handy for the toilet, you know, countertop, stuff like that. Yeah. And then I got um, shake and vac. So this is good for when we, you know, you shake on the carpet and then you vacuum and it makes your carpet smell divine. Oh. This is fresh. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> fresh like, amber glow. I'm tired. I'm tired. And then for the... This is un this is unreal. These are obviously um, in in wash scent boosters, so you put this in the washing machine with your clothes, and it makes sex. This huh? Sex. What was that all about? Where did that come from? <laughs> sex. But yeah, it basically makes your clothes smell divine. However, because this is such a strong, like, literally smell that. It's so strong, but it smells so beautiful. You can put this in your bin. So like before you put your bin bags, put it in the bottom of your bin and it will just make your bin smell amazing. Trust me, I've actually put this works. like in a little jar and I've just kept it in the corner of our room and it's made our whole room smell amazing. So this is, I, I use, we, we use this for everything. <laughs> so this is the Lenore, wait, it's a bit, there we go. This is the Lenore Boost. Come on, do those promos. Boosters. Lenore, if you ever want to work with us, you know, yeah. we're, we're here. <laughs> And then Let me show this. I'm too tired to yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So see, I'm tired. Obviously, yeah, um, Ricky showed you guys our new pantry. We um, actually, actually, I built that pantry all by myself. By surprise, Ricky didn't know. And once again, I got home and I was like, "What did you do there?" <laughs> you need. We need to actually upload the reel as well on Instagram. Oh yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. That's fine. Um, mm. One thing about Ricky, about me being pregnant, obviously, I have to do slow things down because I'm not. Like, I can't function the same way I used to because I have to be more careful with the baby bump. Because you are co-creating. I'm co-creating, so I've got to be more careful. I know. God is using your body as but a one thing about me prior to pregnancy, I have this mindset where I can do anything. No matter how heavy it is, no matter how difficult it is, yeah. no matter how extreme it is, I can yeah. do it. I can do whatever I put my mind to. Yeah, exactly. So, in pregnancy, I'm like, oh, I can't do it. Everyone is like, it's humbling me no, so much. You can't do it. 
but you have a more important job. Which is creating life. Just creating life. But you guys know what I mean. And you gotta you gotta make sure that you're creating a half a life in a healthy way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which I am. But I did, I did build the pantry. So you guys saw that in the video. You guys just showed. <laughs> Ricky showed you guys. So we bought some items for the pantry. So as you guys know, we're going for like a matte black theme with like some wooden. Um, well, it's more cream with black yeah. highlights. Yeah, cream with black highlights and like yeah. wood as well. So this is a really nice basket. We might use this for, you know, just whatever item we end up finding. This was only four pounds. Really lovely <laughs> basket. Do you want me to do it by myself? No, I'm joking, I'm joking. Like, I'm, I'm joking. Lee, the vibe of me, the vibe of me, no amor. And obviously, you guys saw our table and we bought these. See, um, she got offended. Yeah, I did this by myself. Come down. No, I should be serious. Joking. Like, actually, do you want me to do it by myself? I've been oh, genuine. Oh, yeah. These cotton woven placemats, these were six pounds and they're like these huge, thick placemats. We're we going to get two more. more because when our table extends, that is, it is actually huge yeah. so but we just want to go for now just to see how it fit on our table and but i really like it because it goes with the vibe can't wait to see it tomorrow me too as for today i'm gonna go to sleep <laughs> and then we bought these little jars for the pantry i like these little jars these are two these are actually ricky's um selection these are two pounds each so we've got i think we've got three of them yeah we've got three so this can probably be used for like sugar um tea bags you know stuff like that and then we got we got this three pound fifty rotating cupboard organizer so this is once again for the pantry it just basically rotates and you can put on the picture they put like seasonings and stuff but you can put pretty much anything um we'll see what we can find okay so so we don't need that other seasoning thing i really want to put that in the bin no listen Guys, you don't understand. You don't understand. The amount of times... With a passion. Listen, we have this like really cool seasoning rack. It's like this rotating cool. thing. And it has like every single right. seasoning you can imagine. And it just rotates. Nothing cool about it. And it fits so perfect in our kitchen. It looks so nice in our kitchen. I love Massive. the look of it. It's so big for what reason? Why is seasoning because so big? Because we love cooking. Big? Because we love cooking and it looks nice in our kitchen no, because we love seasoning. But it doesn't need to be that big because it's occupying the space that I could be using to put something that no, I could be seasoning with. No. Anyway, so I'll put it in one place, right? I'm like, this looks so good in the kitchen. Like, I love it. Tell me if I wake up the next morning coming downstairs and it's literally outside, basically. <laughs> ready to go in the bin and i'm like no uh uh i take it i'll put it back in its place the next day i catch it in our pantry on the floor <laughs> and i'm like what is happening right now like uh, am i going crazy the I kitchen put it back the kitchen is and big use it again the kitchen is big however it's not big enough to have something like that in our kitchen I'm if our kitchen was like massive legal. i understand that's a okay. buying space that is not necessary <laughs> Guys, see this is what I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, exactly. we have this three tier cupboard organizer, three pounds. This would be really cute to just put like, you know, our teas, little, just little like, you know, jars or whatever. We'll find a space for that. And then we've got two baskets, obviously they go on the theme. Um, they were five pounds each. Hey, my puff puff. My puff puff. You're clearly I'm right. Puff puff. No. One's for fruits, one's for like onions and you know. You know, it kind, of, it kind of looks cool with the, with the tag on there, you know. No, it's got the price on it. I'm like. And then you guys know that I'm a bargain queen. So I got these cups, right? And they were like six pounds for like a pack of them. And then I walk in- Six? Yeah, I think they were six pounds. Robbery. <laughs> but so we're walking down the next aisle, which is like the bargain aisle. Everything was on sale. Everything was like just value, you know, value taken down. Um, wait, why are they taken down? What am I talking about? I'm clearly tired. Basically the price was lower. And I see these. One pound seventy three. Where do you find cups this beautiful for one pound seventy three? The minute I saw, I was like, Ricky, put those cups back. We're getting these. 
We should have got another pack. We should have got another one. Why don't we get another one? We'll get it tomorrow. We'll get another pack. Pack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> pack. <laughs> and then we yeah, got just some Ben fragrance Ben liners for the, uh, my little. Oh, fog gonna go in. That was a good fill from that. Maybe. Too, right? And then we got some air fresheners. These are for our wardrobes. So our clothes smell divine. And I love this though. Look, warm vanilla, tropical breeze, mm -hmm. sweet pomegranate, sweet cherry. Oh, my back hurts. Fresh linen and blush. <laughs> um, I'm tired of fresh linen now. I don't like. <laughs> but these will look. These these will look. These will smell really nice in our wardrobe. And then we just got some spare hangers just because there's a lot of hangers and we just needed some spare hangers. We got we got a lot of clothes. We got a lot. Of Not enough hangers. And then we got this towel rack because we really need one in our toilet. I can't wait to do, do this. Actually. Mm -hmm. Where? Where would we put it? I'll show you. You'll see, you'll see what I'm going for. I just envisioned it as I'm not leaving the shop until I find what I need. Mm -hmm. And the one I originally found was actually seven pounds. Seven pounds. And what did I do? I went down the bargain aisle. Two pound seventy five. Seven pounds to two pounds seventy five. Forty seven. Oh. Oh, oh even less. cheaper. What did I say? Seventy five. Two pound seventy five. See, she's tired. <laughs> she's tired. Clearly I am. And then we got um, this little jar, as you guys can see. This was like uh, oh, 97p. You don't find things at 97p nowadays, guys. Right. Like you actually don't. Go to the B&M and actually. go to the everyday value section because everyday value. It's not it's that's what it says. That's a nice oh, yeah. section. If you look, everyday value. Oh wow. 97p, this is for our, like toothpicks, Tesco. our toothpicks and stuff like that in our toilet because they're currently exposed and I kind of feel like that's weird if someone flushes a toilet and all that bacteria goes into our toothpicks. Ew. Ew. <laughs> but at least this is like covered. Last but not least, some light bulbs. But yeah. anyway. This is because we really like this lighting. It's like yeah. orangey, like yellow. Nah, but I like it more yellow. Like as you guys saw when I took so it fussy. when I took it to the kitchen, the lighting was perfect, wasn't it? That's the light. I think this is 2.7k. This is that's like 3k or 3.5k or something. 3,000. Really 3,500. Really Anywho. So that's everything. Yeah, that is everything. And the only reason why I did this haul is just because I needed these. Cause and it was the last I need item. To, it was, and it had to be the last item. Because right now we have white light in our room. Yeah, it's and white. It's, oh. And it's just not going. So bye bye. Enjoy the rest of the time with my wife. I'm out. I'm bye. To bed. I'm going to go. I didn't say I was going to wash the dishes, but I realized my finger hurts. So tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow's night. Bye bye. <laughs>